Hi folks, I'm going to talk to you about peer-to-peer -peer computing. It's a um, model for distributed computing. First of all, to understand peer-to-peer -peer computing, let's look at the other distributed computing models. The simplest one is a client-server model. There is a server that sits there, powerful server. It uh, waits for clients to connect. Clients has a request, send the request to the server, server does the computation and replies. This is a very simple model, very simple model. Since it's simple, we know how to manage it, how to make it efficient, cost-effective, uh, etc. What if one server is not enough? Well, we go down the route of hierarchical uh, structuring with a master worker model in the data centers and cloud computing, uh, which has several examples of this. In the master worker model, one node, one server, acts as a master coordinator and distributes tasks to the other workers. When those tasks are finished, the master coordinates and redistributes some tasks. This is better for more um, um, computation power. Well, these have some sort of centralized control, don't they? Peer-to-peer -peer goes way on the other end of the spectrum. It advocates a fully decentralized model for computation. This is radical. Um, here, there is no distinguished server. Each node can act as both a server and client to the other nodes. It's a fully decentralized model. So, this is good. This brings several advantages. It's self-organizing. We don't need an infrastructure as before. The nodes can pop up, discover each other, organize into a network. And you can bring down this peer-to-peer -peer system by killing a key node. By killing a key node. So, this self-organization is so critical and this uh, led to peer-to-peer uh, -peer applications. So what is it good for when you don't have infrastructure, when you can be self-organizing, you can circumvent censorship? Well, file sharing circumvented copyright uh, laws. That's uh, uh, one way of uh, doing that. First, uh, um, first uh, examples of peer-to-peer -peer systems were in file sharing domain. But there is also uh, better uses for government uh, uh, censorship, you can circumvent if you have a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, messaging system. This is what happened in Hong Kong protests. Another one, very popular these days, Bitcoin. It's a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency mechanism. Again, not to have a centralized organization behind this. Okay, so infrastructure free is also good for voluntary computing, uh, public resource computing, they also call this citizen science. One example is SETI Atom. This doesn't need data centers. Uh, people who have spare cycles in their home computers can uh, be uh, using, helping, contributing to SETI Atom. This thing works better if there is an incentive uh, mechanism behind it, like file sharing. Uh, if there is an intense, uh, incentive mechanism behind it. Okay, last one. This makes uh, the peer-to-peer -peer system adaptable to changing uh, conditions as it is self-organizing. A very good example is BitTorrent. In BitTorrent, when, file sh when one file is very hot, actually it gets better service because more nodes are downloading it, more nodes are sharing it with other nodes. And uh, basically being hot uh, is not a bottleneck. It doesn't make it a hot spot. BitTorrent was developed in 2000 by Bram Cohen. He was a dropout from our department in 1995, I guess. Don't get the wrong idea. Don't drop out, but this is an example where uh, a very cool peer-to-peer -peer system has some connection to uh, our department. Um, I can say more, what I can say uh, in the next 10 seconds is to put this back into context,
peer to peer is nice but we still don't know how to develop the self organizing rules for more um, sophisticated tasks. It's worked for some niche tasks but for more sophisticated tasks that require tighter synchronization control these uh, models still dominate the uh, computing paradigm. But it's up to you. You can work on this. Make this work. Uh, internet has some rules in peer-to-peer -peer computing the original router designs. The original uh, World Wide Web design have some roots into peer uh, to peer computing, but they eventually uh, evolved to this model. But you can make it work.